Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Kira Doolittle. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, college visits started up this week, so stay on top of upcoming college visits by checking in with the Counseling Center in person or visiting their website. Here's the February lineup. The Tulsa Welding School will join us today, and then the reps from UCCS will return tomorrow, February 7th. The Colorado Mesa University reps will be back on Wednesday, February 20th, and Fort Hayes State scheduled their visit for Thursday, February 21st. Adam State kicks off March visits on the 7th and in April, we'll have the reps from Western Colorado University here on April 17th. Remember, you need to get a pass to attend these college visits and you can get those passes in the Counseling Center. Students, if you were planning to register for the spring session of credit recovery, today is the deadline. Go online to register and get ready to make up your credit so you can graduate on time. The spring session starts on Monday, February 11th with the mandatory orientation and pre-testing in Lab 153 at 3.30. Tuition is $100 per course and you can take up the two courses per session. See your counselor for more information and details. The Mill is hosting an open house next Wednesday, February 13th at 6 p.m. for parents and students interested in cabinet manufacturing and construction technology courses. This is a great way to get more information for the courses next year. When we return from the break, we'll have information on freshman candy grams, but first, we're sending it to the sports desk for a Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. And JROTC Cadets, remember to pick up your outside guest forms from Miss Price in the main office for the military ball. The deadline to return those is February 22nd. The forensics team is on the move again this coming weekend for the national qualifier at Colorado College. We wish them good luck and expect some great placements. Our Lady Gladiators took on the Harrison Panthers on Monday night and squashed those cats with a score of 59 to 31. Two claps and a whoosh. Whoosh. Way to work, ladies. The ladies are on the road tonight against Sierra at 6 p.m. That's a time change. And then they are at home on Friday at 6 p.m. against the Elizabeth Cardinals. Come out and cheer on the ladies to some needed victories. We wish them good luck for both games. The men's basketball team was at Harrison on Monday night and couldn't contain the Panthers. Those cats got a win with a score of 68 to 60. Keep working, fellas. The boys are at home tonight at 7 p.m. in Bowers against the Sierra Stallions and are on the road on Friday to play against the Elizabeth Cardinals at 7 p.m. The boys could use our support, so come out and cheer them on. The ladies' swim team is headed to the state championships this Friday and Saturday. Vanessa Nunn from Mesa will be swimming for a state title. Our wrestling team is headed to the league championships this weekend in Canyon City on Saturday, February 9th. The team is set to send some wrestlers to the regional meet so they could really use our support. Keep those bleacher seats in mind when you get to the home basketball games. They are on sale until supplies run out. Cost is $25 for one seat and $40 for two. And put this on your calendar for Monday, February 11th. That's when our WHS Brass Quintet and our jazz bands host Stellar Brass, the U.S. Air Force Academy Band Brass Quintet for a concert at 7 p.m. This is a free event in the WHS Auditorium. Come out and enjoy some music from our talented musicians. Glads. We're giving Mr. Damon a break this week since we are on a four-day school week, but stay tuned next Friday when Damon's dose of health will cover decluttering our lives. He's no Marie Kondo, but his tips will be great. Spring sports athletes, get your yellow cards in the main office starting Monday, February 11th. Practices will soon start and you cannot practice without it. If you do not have a physical, you can get those packets in the main office as well. Oh, one more thing before I go. Next week is a spirit week for the winter homecoming dance and we have some dress up days you you should know about. Here's the schedule so you can get your outfits ready to go. Monday is rapper versus rocker. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday is twin Monday. day. Wednesday is relationship status. Thursday is blue out. And Friday is toga day. Get your Julius Caesar on. Hats will be allowed if they are a part of your outfit, but please do not wear face paint. Thank you to the drama department for help with this news. That's it for your gladiator sports update. 
I'm Ethan Simon. Have a great week and weekend. Now back to the news desk with Kieran and Isaac. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Ladies, it's not too late to set up an appointment to check out those dresses in Becca's closet. Shop here first and save yourself some money. See Miss Ford in room 122 or Miss HK in the library to make your shopping appointment. Remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Kieran, the winter ball is getting close. Did you hear that they're bringing in a DJ? I did hear that, Isaac. What else can you tell us? Well, NHS is sponsoring the Winter Homecoming next Friday. I know it's a semi-formal dance that will happen on February 15th from 7 to 10 p.m. in Bowers. I can buy my tickets now for just $5, or I can wait until Friday, but the tickets will cost $10. Oh, there is going to be a Winter Royal Court, and nominations started yesterday, and continue today at the table on the blue tiles. And get this, students in all grades can run, and voting will happen next week on Tuesday and Wednesday. In case I forgot anything, I know I can check in with Miss Melton in room 103 for other details. Isaac, you forgot one very important detail. Outside guest forms. Those are due this Thursday. That's tomorrow. Get your forms in the main office from Miss Price, but get them back tomorrow or your boo may not be able to join us at the dance. Oh yeah. If you're not sure what to wear, here are some tips. Ladies, you can't go wrong with a dress from Becca's Closet, but you can also just wear a nice dress. It doesn't matter if it's long or short. We hear dressy pants suits and one-piece jumpers are also in the range right now, so those would be perfect for this event. Guys, 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 this is one time you want to leave the jeans and sweats at home. Wear some nice pants and a nice shirt. No t-shirts. And hey, ties are optional. But why not wear one if you have it? If you really want to dress to impress, break out that suit. Show us how you clean up for the winter homecoming. All right, here's Miss Betsy with the lunch menu. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hey, good Woo morning. Wake up. I hope you enjoyed your wings yesterday, because no, today no, no, no. we're having beef and broccoli over rice. Broccoli. I hope you love it. Extra broccoli. Extra broccoli. Lots of broccoli. Lots of broccoli. And then chicken sandwich, barbecue chicken sandwich Gotta have barbecue. on Thursday with barbecue. fries and coleslaw. No broccoli. No broccoli. Just barbecue. But thank you. Have a great day. We'll see you Friday. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to add money to your account by seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or by going online. Glads, test prep sessions happen tomorrow. If you haven't signed up already, remember to sign up in the library to attend. Sessions include reading, writing, math, test anxiety, and content boost with Khan Academy. All teachers have flyers posted in their rooms with dates and content. Thanks to everyone who has donated change to the Penny Wars Drive. Here's an update. Juniors are taking the lead at last check with seniors close behind. The prize on the line is an early lunch and Charlie Cup points. So come on, freshmen, we can do it. Sophomores are in third place and freshmen, well, we're not the line leader. All proceeds from Penny Wars will benefit Teen Court. Teen Court helps teens who have made poor decisions correct their errors without any judicial consequences. Penny Wars ends tomorrow. Here's a reminder for a very important meeting tomorrow. For those of you who signed up to go to the United Kingdom trip with Miss Melton and Miss Shepard, you need to attend the meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 103. And finally, in case you haven't heard yet, next week is Valentine's Day and the freshman class is having a candy gram sale. Buy your candy grams outside the main office for only $1 on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Candy gram will be delivered to your boo, BFF, or secret crush on Thursday during first hour. That's all we have for you today, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Remember, we'll be back next Wednesday because of the day off on Friday. Oh, and be sure to wear your best rapper or rocker outfit on Monday. I'm Isaac Fleet, and this was your KWHS News.